is a fundamental distinction between cash basis and accrual basis methods of accounting. Cash basis accounting recognizes revenue and expenses when cash is received or paid. Smaller businesses and sole proprietors typically use cash basis accounting. It is a simpler method and reflects the amount of cash on hand. However, the cash basis method of accounting is not consistent with generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP. GAAP requires the use of accrual basis accounting. Accrual basis accounting recognizes revenue when earned and expenses when incurred, regardless of when the cash is received or paid. At the end of each accounting period, which could be monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually, certain accounts need to be adjusted. Adjusting entries are entries made at the end of the accounting period to adjust and bring the asset, liability, revenue, and expense accounts to their proper balances using accrual basis accounting. Remember that not all accounts require adjusting entries. There are a few ways in which cash basis and accrual basis are different. Suppose that a customer books a flight from Toronto, Canada to Reykjavik, Iceland in January and pays $2,000 to Global Air. The departure date is in May, four months away. If Global Air were to use cash basis accounting, it would recognize the $2,000 revenue in January when the cash is received or paid. If a business such as Global Air were to use accrual basis accounting, it would recognize the revenue in May when the flight actually takes place and the services are rendered to the customer. By recognizing the flight revenue in May, Global Air follows the revenue recognition principle under GAAP, which is the principle on which the adjusting process is based. It recognizes revenue in the time period when earned, regardless of when the cash is received. Taking the example further, suppose that Global Air purchases and uses $500 in fuel to fly the aircraft from Toronto to Reykjavik in May and pays the invoice for that fuel purchase in June. Under the cash basis method of accounting, the $500 expense would be recognized in June. Under the accrual method, on the other hand, Global Air will recognize the fuel expense in the same accounting period as the revenue earned. This means that Global Air will recognize the fuel expense in May, even though the payment does not occur until June. Under the accrual method of accounting, the business income for the month of May would be calculated by matching the expense with the revenue that the expense helped generate. When the customer's purchase of the ticket is combined with the airline's purchase of the fuel, the difference between cash basis and accrual basis of accounting becomes obvious. Under the accrual method, all of the income generating activity happens in May. Under the cash basis, nothing is recognized in May, although the flight actually takes place in May. Accrual basis accounting requires adjusting entries to ensure that revenue and expenses are recognized in the right period. At the end of each accounting period, certain accounts will need to be adjusted to bring an asset or liability account balance to an accurate amount. In doing so, revenue or expenses will also be impacted. Therefore, every adjusting entry affects both an income statement account and a balance sheet account. Adjusting entries are recorded at the end of the period, typically at the end of the month or at the end of the year. Assume further that Global Air reports on a fiscal year ending July 31st. Using the accrual basis of accounting, adjusting entries are recorded at the end of the fiscal year, July 31st. Imagine that Global Air receives $5,000 cash in ticket sales on July 1st, and half of the company's flights occur in July, while the other half occur in August. The required adjusting entry on July 31st is half of the cash, or $2,500, because only half of the cash has been earned. Therefore, $2,500 will be the revenue, and $2,500 will remain as unearned revenue, a liability. On July 1st, Global Air pays $6,000 as a prepaid expense for insurance coverage for the six-month period from July through December. At the end of the fiscal year, July 31st, the adjusting entry for the prepaid expense will be for one month's insurance. Therefore, one month of insurance will be a recognized expense, while five months of insurance will remain a prepaid expense, which is a current asset.